What's up? Um, second video of the day. I'm gonna do soft speaking. So, salmon. Oh, soy sauce and rice vinegar and syrup marinated and low calorie noodles and spring onion with the say marinade and fried zucchini because it felt like it. I don't know why I sometimes just find chopsticks easier even though I really don't even manage them that well but I feel like eating this with a fork would be even harder because it's noodles Oh, I also put pine nuts here and I'm going fancy this is Sprite Zero so with straws huh uh huh I'm trying don't know what I'm trying but I'm trying anyway anyhow doesn't matter Today is actually my second day off and then I work seven days in a row again, so it's kind of like the end of my weekend. And some of my co-workers, because there's a an event today called the culture night it's once a year and some of my co-workers are going there and I said I would go but I'm not gonna drink and it's mostly pubs and I don't really feel like going so I'm not going I haven't told them yet but And normally I would feel bad about not going, even though I didn't want to go. But, but I feel bad about cancelling. But really, I'm learning to say no. This will bring me more happiness. If I go and I don't feel like going, I'm just gonna look at the clock. I, I've done that. I'm I've done done it when where I go to somewhere some place that I said I would go and basically all that's going on in my head is okay how many hours until it's appropriate for me to leave that's pretty much every time I really don't like to go out um, I like to go for coffee or dinner and talk with a friend individually but I don't really like going to pubs where people are drinking especially if not I'm not drinking it's it doesn't really give me that much so I'm very boring today. You know what though? I'm always boring. I'm a boring person. I don't do much. 
I don't have that much to say, but um, I live a very average, boring life. But if I find the correct person to have fun with, then then it's not boring, you know. When you find one person who makes everything fun even your life, um, hold on to that person. The person you would want to go grocery shopping with. Basically, which is fun. I think grocery shopping is, you know, that's one of my, um, I don't know, that's one of the things that I really enjoy. I actually used to watch um, grocery shopping ho uh, vlogs from YouTube. And by that, I mean one night <laughs> I googled three grocery, grocery shopping vlogs and watched them. And that's it. But in general, I still like seeing grocery stores, whether it's live or in another country. Even just in Finland, I just loved going to the big grocery stores. It would be like an event with my friends. Individually, I don't like to go with a group of friends, like just with a couple of my friends, we would just go to the grocery store that was a bit further from because us because I lived in the city center, so they don't have big supermarkets at the city in the city center, so we had to walk a bit further to go to one supermarket and <laughs> The weird as me loved that. And one thing, um, I think it was Jennifer Myers who asked amongst a lot of people, but she actually rephrased her question to the to the like in a way that I actually feel like responding she said do you really not need to chew the noodles you don't you hardly chew them just you know is that is that really what happens or how do you do it guys this is how I eat no I don't have to chew on my noodles a hundred times as you can see I'm able to eat them faster. And that's just me. Don't worry about me. I'm healthy, fine, I'm not choking. I can taste the food just fine. Uh, my digestion is completely fine. Probably even better than the average. But, we all know I'm gonna get those comments regardless, so... Nowadays, I usually just delete them because I just don't... If I have time to delete them because I don't, I don't feel like... It's... I've had enough, so I just... I don't even want to put energy on reading them. Like, if I see a comment, Oh, you should chew more and whatnot, I'll just delete. Hey, bye. I mean, bye. And sometimes I leave one comment up. Like recently on one of my videos, somebody said something about chewing. I just left it there. 
sort of like in case somebody wanted to say something about them the comment is already there so save your energy once is enough it's like I don't know what to do sometimes I, I feel like leaving comments there sometimes I feel like responding sometimes I feel like ignoring sometimes I feel like deleting but nothing works those comments keep on coming so we're back to ignoring and deleting I guess And I think some people who try to argue with that they're usually people who don't make YouTube videos and with no offense but unless you make your own videos you will never understand fully how it is making your videos putting your face out there putting your time and effort there communicating with thousands of uh, subscribers eventually Seeing other, seeing so many parts of YouTube that a plain subscriber would not see or experience. So, with that said, if you don't make videos, no matter how much you think you know it all, you don't. You don't know how it is. You don't know how certain things affect you. You don't know how certain things do not affect you. And in the beginning it's different, after a while it's different. As you get more subscribers it becomes different, you change a lot, but... It's easy to forget that what you think the life of somebody who creates content is just for YouTube purposes. You really have no idea unless you make your own videos and go through the process of having the videos there for years and making videos for years, communicating and building um, building up your channel to the point where you have thousands of subscribers getting hit on, not, not hit on, well kind of like hit on by those subscribers too every day but like people hit up hit me up every day i've created some good connections through youtube but also in general i don't know these people yet they're so friendly towards me there's so many aspects i don't know why i started this event because i just wanted to say unless you make youtube videos it's hard for me to take any criticism or opinions fully fully like about youtube Seriously, because you don't know the other side of the coin. You're merely watching and commenting, not putting yourself out there. So, Talking about YouTube and being a YouTube creator, content creator, um, a lot more people have found out about my channel within my friend circle or even co-workers. Uh, some of them I've actually told about my channel, some of them I've said I have a YouTube channel, just go and look for it and if you find it, it's all yours. And I, I've stopped explaining myself. I have friends that found it and never explained to them what ASMR means or why I do these videos. I was just like, cool, you found it. Good job. Most of them either Google it 
or they already know about it but they just didn't know it expands to the food part so it's to the point where I think I'm doing a good job in embracing it instead of being ashamed I really don't feel like I'm ashamed anymore Except that I haven't told my parents. <laughs> but um, the thing is, I don't really... This is my... Okay, they're very curious about my life, especially right now. And... I, If they find it, fine, but I don't care to advertise it so that they can stalk my videos <laughs> from here. And that's actually... One big reason why I don't advertise my channel to my friends either. Because I really like the fact that this is my own channel where I can express my thoughts. And if something frustrates me. Or if someone that I don't even name frustrates me and I talk about that person. And then they come to see my videos and they're like, oh, she mentioned me. I know her from a few years back. And she used me as an example of a certain kind of a person or something. I don't. I want to avoid those kind of situations because I would never say that to their face. This is just. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. This should maybe be Mokba. Although, I don't really know the definition of mukbang, other than that it's just an eating show. I don't know if there are rules to that, like, you're supposed to talk about your day, or maybe not. Okay, right now, I could use a fork. But I think I'll just cut this short. So, Jin Moonlight eats if she's watching. They say Sao Hai, oh my job says, I know it's completely wrong. I think you're supposed to use them like this. Or something maybe I'll I just I, I don't know why but it works so much better for me like this usually except right now God. okay Oh my god, it's already 18 minutes. Bye guys.